Petty Jean, uh, I think it's pronounced, State Park in Arkansas. So this was kind of when we had to come up with our trip, like the main thing that led us to Arkansas. I've been wanting to go here, so I'm pretty excited. Um, so when you arrive, if you're coming from the west, heading in east, you will pass the visitor center before the campground, turn to the visitor center. So you have to register at the visitor center and then go to your camping loop. Um, we did call because we had multiple routes. We came from Hot Springs and we spoke to some of the visitor center. He gave us great directions because there is one route that'll take you on like a 14% grade. Um, but he gave us a different alternative route same amount of time um so it was pretty easy it's just highways here and we'll check in later fine all right we're taking a rainy quarter mile hike to the overlook it's very steamy out here but hopefully we'll drop the temperature some this is a strenuous hike. This is gorgeous. All right, here is the overlook. You see it, girl? There's the waterfall there. Guess it helps we got some rain, or that might not have been flowing at all. <laughs> Here's our site at Petty Jean. We are in loop A. Uh, this is site 13. So it's pull through. It kind of comes up this hill. Go see Dawson. I already got crazy dogs. <coughs> so you have this whole overlook to the lake. So all the sites have barbecue, grill, fire pit, lantern hanger. We always hang our trash in case there's critters. And then they all have these either steps or pathway. You need to grab them because that car is about to go. Please um, Sorry. <laughs> we just got home, so the dogs are going nuts. And then they all have this pad for tents, which we had shade here, so we put our zero gravity chairs, and then we had the view to the lake. But lots okay, of space here. Up. Wonderful yeah. site and full hookup in loop A. I'm not sure about B, C, and D. B was just recent, re recently redone. We did drive through and it looks nice. This is the Palisades Overlook, which we came from this Highway 155 right here and came up on this. So I think you see it in that driving GoPro footage too. But here is the view. What's something you have to say about Arkansas now? I haven't been here a few days. Too hot. <laughs> it is yeah, hot. Yeah, no. hmm? This is the CCC overlook. It's recommended to come here for sunset. Oh, yes, Danny, will you want up here with me? The red bluff drive up here hey, is boy. rough. So here, can I bring him up with me? So this flock of geese just come periodically, every few hours or so. It's like they just circle like daily here. I'm not sure if Gaston sees them or not. 
He's very fascinated by all the birds here. No, he doesn't notice them. We're on the Ebear Cave Trail. It's just a quarter mile. What is it? Really black oh yeah? They have geckos here. Like it was black with like yellow spots or something. Oh this one is like yeah, it looks like it looks brown. Just be careful. Okay. Oh, my bun took out a branch. <laughs> This is like a legit cave. This would be perfect making the free. Oh. You would have sex with that. Like, I could go with the water, but the bones. And we watch Naked and Afraid all the time in the camper for some reason. That's a move. Okay. That's all the time. Are you like afraid to walk any further? Don't film me sitting cooking. <laughs> Alright, TikTok made us do it. So dice take a breath. Italian seasoning, forlini, and I would suggest a bigger bag. We're kind of gonna have to need dessert after this. And pesto, all in the black stone. So that was 10 ounces. Maybe you could find a pound, would be better. But hopefully it's good. It looks good. <laughs> Just walked right off. <laughs> Here's the pool at. It is $5 per person to get in. We came um, at five o'clock, an hour before close, so it was half price. But the total only came to $9 and change, so there must be some type of kid rate. I'm not really sure, because that wasn't half price. That was more than half price if we were $5 each, so I don't know. But it's got diving board, water slide, changing rooms. Um, no outside food or drink, but you can bring water, and they have a little like concession stand, chips. Drinks, candy bars. All right, check out Peyton's cup. So we came into town. Dawson got a shirt because we didn't prepare grocery wise. Um, so it's about 27 minute drive to a Walmart, but we decided to get something to eat, and we stopped at this Elia's Mexican Grill. Elia is who served us, and she was amazing. The food was amazing. She gave the kids those things because Peyton asked if she was the owner. Um, so definitely, if you have to come into town, or even if you don't come into town and eat here because it was Delicious. fantastic. Rocky trails. I know. All right, we're hitting the trail for Cedar Falls. It is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Probably not the best time. We're gonna get an early start. However, our main AC has failed and we are attempting to schedule getting that fixed. And so we got a late start is what it is. We did pass somebody that said it's shaded about 98% of the time. So we're hoping that helps. And we're just gonna take it slow. We're off. Nope, that at least gives me hope that there's water where we're going. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this is pretty. It's in the sun, but it's pretty. I guess I could unclip you. There you go. Very pretty. 
falls. So this also went even for the camera yes. so that you were looking at? It connects to the Boy Scout trail or something, yeah. We made it. How'd she get around? That's hard work. Might go right here, actually. There we go. Yeah, that rock's firm that sticks out. No, D, go down here. Yeah, it's going to be slippery. Is it slippery? I'm not sure. I mean, I didn't slip at all. Oh, oh, it's a little green. Oh. It is? <sighs> I'm definitely going to get my head under it more. Oh. Even in July, this is definitely worth the one mile strenuous hike to get here. You have to climb some rocks to come cool off in the water before you head back. So I'll update you at the end of the trail. The climb up is worth it, but so far definitely worth it. Could be. Uh, we just saw a snake on the edge of the water, but it's swimming. Maybe you can see it out where the sun shadow stops. I don't know how good this camera is. At least it's a water snake, so it went that way. Yeah, not all, it, it's swimming underwater, so it's probably not poisonous. It's when they swim on top. It's when they swim on top of water. Huh. Can they? Water moccasins are poisonous. Mock, that, that was not a water moccasin. No, it would have been darker. I don't quote me 100, percent but I'm pretty sure that's the difference. A venomous snake can like hold air in its lungs and explode. also their butt plates look different. Oh, okay. Like, you, like, look up their butthole. Like, we look up their butthole. Like, that's, that's Dawson's tip of the day. Please ask the snake to see its butthole before it bites you. <laughs> Snakes used to have feet before that. Actually? Mm -hmm. You can't think about that part of it in the Bible? Mm -hmm. It'll make you... After the fall, they were cursed. Mm -hmm. Make you walk this earth on your belly and... You have your gun done. Gotta get through the fallen tree again. This is the Stouts Memorial Lookout. So you've got this great view of the Arkansas River. Here is the gravesite of Petty Jean. She was actually a woman, Adrienne Dumont, that wanted to come with her fiance who was coming to explore the land. They, she snuck on, dressed up as a boy. She got the nickname Petit John because she was so little. Um, but she became ill while they were here and died. So while she was sick, they realized who it was and she requested to be buried here. So I just read too that this is part of the Trail of Tears with the Native American removal. These are really cool. Hold on, Elsa. Yeah. Oh, look, these are even more so. Oh, wow, these are cool.
Huh? I thought we made it. Just where's the water? Oh, this is cool. Go ahead, Bells. Most of the rules say not to. So if you just hike the one way that isn't on the sign at the Rock House Cave, you can just come to this overlook. But it's drop off, so be careful. Yes, I bingo. Nice job. And this is the front, so now wrapping around to the back. Yep. Both side. So Dawson, Peyton, and myself each one around. Joe didn't play. Here's the pool at the lodge. I want to pull the truck around. Got this nice view. Not Peyton, the mountain. <laughs> here at the Mercantile, which is probably less than a mile, maybe a mile from Camp Loop A. Maybe. And we heard the coffee was really good, so we're about to check it out before we roll out early to Tulsa in hopes that a mobile RV person is coming to fix our air. Well, the second time. He's coming, so hopefully it fixes the air. Even though we did that a month ago and look where we are, but hopefully this one's better. Jean Coffee House and Mercantile or Mercantile. I don't know if I told you that. But we've got our iced coffees, we've got bagels and cream cheese and breakfast sandwiches. Campers packed.